If you want to know how to make a basic horror game on Roblox Studio, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video on my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to be continuing the horror game series with part 2. As you know, this is part 2 and we're just going to be doing some cool stuff. We're going to be forcing people in first person. We're going to be making a camera shake effect. And we're going to be making sliding doors. Because those are really cool, you know. So that is, of course, really cool. As I said, really cool. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that bell. If you like the video, like it. If you don't like it, just dislike it. And um, what do I need to say more? That is that if you want to become a member and get source code, just click the link uh, in the description for joining membership or click the blue join button down below. So if that's everything I have to say before we can start off the video. So now we can actually start off with the video. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be putting some organization in here you want to go to your script rename this to just leader stats uh, remote events fine typewriting script is fine um you want to make four folders like that four of them um this one is going to be called useless this one is going to be called doors this one is going to be called components and this one is going to be called game now you might know we're gonna be dragging all of those into game. So now we got a little bit of organization. Put the key in components. Put both doors indoors. Put the spawn location and base plate in useless. And you're good to go. Now this is going to be door two and this is going to be door one. You get the point. Now let me just drag it correctly. Boom. Okay. So now that's cool. And what we're going to be doing is um, we're just going to make the doors slide to a certain position where they are going to be like permanently opened or something. Okay, so this door, you want to, this is going to be door one and you want to make a um, refer door one and for door two. You want to make a refer door two. Yes. Okay. So the, this one goes like over here. Like that. And I want to delete everything in the refer doors. You want to... Um, let me see what we need to do. Uh, at door one, you want to like put the position of it like that. Select both doors. Transparency 1, can glide off, and Anchor is going to be on for everything. Now you're completely pretty much done. So in your script, we're going to be typing local T is because the game, colon get service tween service. Add a proximity prompt into this door. Uh, delete these lines of code with deleting an extra end. Over here, all you want to type script.parent.proximityprompt.triggered, colon connect, function, p. And you're good to go. And you can delete this line too. So now let me reorganize it. Okay. Now we need to tween the door. And we need to add a... Well, we don't need to add in a sound. Maybe just toolbox. And let me see, audio, maybe just sliding door. Is that a thing? I don't know. Wait. We can use this sound. What is this? We can do this one, actually. So you add in a sound into the door. You add another sound in this door. This, the ID will be on the screen right now. So you can just type that over and you're going to be good to go. And now over here, you want to type script.parent. Let me see script.parent.sound colon play. 
over here. Scroll. Well, we're going to keep the doors opened, so there's no need of this. Going to be deleting this. Boom. And now you want to type uh, T colon create colon play like that. And now we're going to be doing some real funny stuff, okay? So we're going to be script the parent like that. Then tween info dot new. Going to be doing script the parent that sound the time length. We're going to be enum that easing style dot quint. We're going to be enum dot easing direction dot in out. In out. And then outside of that bracket, so you want to go like over here where my mouse is. There. Make curved brackets and type position is equals to script dot parent dot parent dot refer door one dot position. Simply copy and paste this script like that. We're gonna go to door two and we're gonna be doing the exact same, but not like that. All the only thing you need over here is the tween service. So put the tween service up here, and you need this long line of code. Boom. Now delete the rest, and put it over. Uh, so I want to do script the parent that sound, colon play, to be adding that in, and change the refer door 1 to refer door 2. And that's all you have to do. So now that is both doors implemented. Um, so if you want, you can make like a nice little cover. I'm gonna do it right now because it's it's gonna make it look cool, I think. I'm just gonna put it in useless. I'm just gonna name it parts. I'm just gonna delete it. I'm just gonna make it a little bit cool. So just give me a second. So it looks like a kind of a sliding door, you know? Okay to put it a little bit up. Keep in mind I am not a designer, so if it looks ugly, I am very sorry. But it's not my problem. Like that. So where does the refer door end? The refer door ends over here. So we're good. You can just copy and paste this and duplicate it to this door. Doesn't really matter. As long as it works. So now you can like refer door two to. Mm hmm. Can put it a little bit over here, a little bit taller. Like that. And that is basically everything. Now we're going to be anchoring it. Yep, we did. And now we're going to click play. So now if we press E, I'm going to turn on sounds. It should play and it should open. As you can see, it opened. And we can continue our way into it. We can press E on the key. There's a little bit of jump scare. We should actually add in a scary sound for that. And now if you press this key, door. That is not what it's supposed to do. Oh, I get the point. You want to delete this. You're good to go. So now we're going to be um, going to toolbox. I'm going to add. I'm just going to type um, scary moan or something. I'm going to be doing this. Give me a second. So or just a scream. We should add in a scream. No, no. No. Let me just find a good song. So I find an ID and it's going to be on screen right now. So you can type it over. Go into your script and on ignore this. Okay. Exit the script. Oh, wait, you could test it out if you want. What I'm just going to do. I'm just going to make a little bit of a spooky room. Even though it's not going to be spooky, but you get the point. So we're going to be doing that. A little bit of this. Duplicating this one to the floor. Okay. And we're going to be copy pasting this one to the other side. So now you're like in a little bit of a room ish. So why not just extend that to here? To make the a little bit spookier. Doing like a little bit of that. And over here, a little bit of this. And this. So now, just at the spawn location, just remove it and make it transparent. And can't collect off. So now that you've done that, keep in mind there's going to be a little bit of a jump scare here. So just don't get scared, please. Thank you. 
So let's test this out. Alrighty, so if we go over here, we press E. It's gonna slide open. We get our objective. We have to walk through. Keep in mind, there's gonna be a um, scary sound here. So turn down your volume. You get three seconds. Three, two, one. <laughs> yep. So that is a jump scare. People will get easily scared. And now over here, you can press E again. And it's gonna slide the door open. And you can continue your way. So that is, of course, really cool. And I figured out a door issue. So, delete the refer door 1, uh, 2 I mean, and the door 2 is going to be your new, so put it over here, and name it refer door 2. Delete everything in it. Good job, you're doing absolutely great. Be testing this one more time, there's going to be a jump scare at the key. Okay, let me in. And I've seen that it's not disabling the proximity prompt. Oh, I can walk through that, okay, that is not, we have to um, enable that. Okay, and E, there we go, so I've seen a uh, door 1 issue, because it's never disabling it, so we're going to be doing script apparent dot uh, proximity prompt dot enabled is x to false, both refer doors, oh what, are all the walls, all of the walls are, okay, so just do that, and you're good to go. So let's test this one more time, and then we will be, um, like, doing the, the camera movement. So, E, door is opening, we get our objective, we're gonna get the key, we get a jump scare, and we open the next door, and we can continue our way out, as you can see. So that is a pretty cool concept already. So now we're gonna be, like, exiting every folder, we're gonna go to start your player, Start your character scripts, duplicate a script, and name it Camera Shake. Um, now delete everything what's inside, and type local run service is equals to game, click get service run service. Now you want to type local character is equals to script the parent the parent. You want to type local humanoid is equals to character call on wait for child humanoid. Now you want to type run service dot render stepped uh, render step call on connect function nothing. Here comes the confusing part. Now you want to type local time is equals to tick. Uh, if humanoid dot move direction dot magnitude is above zero, then we're gonna be doing funny stuff. We're gonna be doing local x, local y, local shake. Now type the rest following code. And over here, else, you want to type humanoid dot off, uh, well, camera. Mara offset is time times equals 0.75. Now we can type uh, local x. Um, it's gonna be a little bit confusing. So the x is gonna be math.cos. Gonna be doing time times 10 and times 0.35. For y, we're gonna do math.abs and then we're gonna do immediately math.sin going to be doing another time times 10 and times 0.35 for the shake all you have to do is vector 3 dot new x y 0 okay yes now you can do um humanoid the camera offset is equals to humanoid that camera offset colon lerp going to be lerping it by shake and 0.25 and that is your shaking done. So let's click play and let's test that out. Okay, we can open. And as you can see, if we walk, our camera shakes. And of course, we need to make it a little bit more spookier, you know. Get a jump scare. 
to be. Okay. Well, we can go over here and E. And we're out. Okay. Um, for the key, turn off can collide. I'm going to reposition the monster a little bit. Because it's not like on the key. Put it like that. And put it back. And we're going to be doing our final test. E. <laughs> Great, you've done well. This is the end of the tutorial. So, um, yeah, that's the tutorial mostly for this tutorial. Part 3 is going to be coming soon. The tomb's probably going to be coming soon. If you're new to the channel, as I said, make sure to like and subscribe. Like the video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. And all I can say is, my name is Nibi, and I say, peace out.